It's easy to look at last night's election results and see North Dakota remains a red state. A state and local government college class broke down the election and is predicting that votes could look different in the future. Alexis Larson reports. We tend to vote for incumbents um, in our state, um, so that's why we saw a lot of red. North Dakota is known for being a red state, but this class has theories of why it could change for the future. I joined in on the discussion and found out that there is more than meets the eye when it comes to the results. Until 2010, North Dakota was not a party line voting state. Uh, 2010, that shifted. I think we're shifting back. Larshis is suggesting that because um, if you take a closer look at the numbers, Democrat voter turnout is higher than it's been in years. Even though Democrats didn't win, Larshis says that it shows a chance for change. I'm disappointed about our Senate race, but I'm hopeful for the future because the Democrats did get a big swift up in the votes. But eventually we will become more of a moderate independent state in the future. Larshas emphasized that the country is moving in a new direction. For example, women and millennials had record high voter turnout nationally. She says that wasn't the case in North Dakota, but she anticipates that we are headed in that direction and that could make a difference. There's been a big movement across the nation. For good or ill, the president of the United States motivates people. For KX News, I'm Alexis Larson. Students in the class also talked about the races that surprised them the most. The most common answers were measures one and three and the Secretary of State's race. Drug use and suicide prevention.